Hi guys, welcome back to Island Girl Recipes. Today we're going to be making a Jamaican classic. They are chicken patties. So here's my recipe on how. So let's start with our ingredients. We're going to start with the pastry first. We have some flour, some salt, some turmeric, some butter twice because they are going to be added at different stages and you'll see how in a minute. So first of all we want to start with the flour, the turmeric and the salt. We just want to combine that until it's all even. Then we're going to add the smallest amount of butter and we're going to rub that into the flour until it becomes like really really fine crumbs and is basically been absorbed in the flour. Next we're going to add our water and we're going to just add the water in gradually to bring the dough together. So as you've gradually brought this together, it should form into like a nice, round, even, soft ball. We're just going to cover that in cling and let it chill for a bit and then we're going to add the fat. So this has been chilling in the fridge for about 20 to 30 minutes. For the next stage, we need to roll this out flat and add the butter inside to create the puff pastry. So what we're going to do to start with is just roll this out to about two centimeters thick, a centimeter and a half. We're going to add our butter into the center, into an even layer, and then we're going to close it in like an envelope as you can see me doing here. So once we've folded the fat in, we're going to let it chill again and then we are going to do this about three times where we roll it out and we fold it in on itself and then chill it. That's how you create puff pastry and that's how you create all the layers inside the pastry.
So we've done that about three or four times now. The more you do it, the more layers you have. There's no right or wrong in that sense. But I think three or four is good enough. So whilst that's chilling, we're going to prepare the chicken filling. So for the filling, we've got some chicken breast, we've got some curry powder, we've got some ground jeera or cumin, some garlic, some ginger, some green seasoning, scotch bonnet, spring onion and a bit of lemon to wash the chicken. So we're going to start off as usual by washing the chicken with some lemon juice and some water. Just leave it to sit for a second and then you can throw it off. Next, we're going to just let this marinade and sit for a bit, so we're going to throw everything onto the chicken. The garlic, the ginger, the green seasoning, the curry and the cumin. And then we're going to chop up the scotch bonnet and spring onion and add that after. Right, so just to cook this, I'll just put a little oil in the pan and I'm just going to brown this off and add a little bit of water so it can cook through. Not too much because you don't need it wet and you don't need it saucy because remember it's going into the pastry. And then we're going to leave it to cool and then get it ready to fill our patties with later.
So the chicken's browned all over nicely. Just going to add a little water to allow it to steam and cook all the way through. Now I'm just going to add the spring onion that we chopped earlier as this is almost done and then putting it in towards the end still gives a bit of freshness to the chicken once it's inside the patty. Right, so this is all finished. So I'm just gonna separate it from the juice so that it can cool off and then it doesn't soak up too much of the liquid. I'm gonna put it aside to cool and whilst it's cooling, we're gonna get the pastry ready and then we can assemble the patty. So here's the pastry, I'm just going to roll this out to about a centimetre and a half thick because Jamaican patties do have a nice amount of pastry on them so you don't want it too thin and then you're going to get a medium sized cutter, these ones are kind of small that I'm making to cut out all the patty circles and then we will assemble them.
Right, so I've cut out all my circles. I've got rid of all of the excess pastry. You can ball that together and then re-roll it out again. You don't have to waste that. But those ones may not puff up the same, but that's fine. So, I've got with me here um, the chicken that's cooled. I've also got some extra flour just to dust the side with. I've got a pastry brush and I've got some water. So all we're going to do is just put a few chunks of chicken in and I'm breaking them up with my hand as I put them inside. And then, and then I'm going to fold over and brush a little water on the inside edge and just press it down with my hand. If you want to make it fancy you can use a fork or you can use the end and fold them and all that stuff but I'm just keeping them nice and plain folding it over, pressing it with my finger and that will seal them. So I'm just going to work my way through all of these and then we'll get them ready to go in the oven. Alright, so these are ready to go in the oven now. So I've just put a little fork or a knife hole in the top to allow any air to escape or any steam, sorry, whilst it's cooking. These are going to cook in the oven for about 20 25 minutes on 160, 170 degrees C. And here we have these have just come out of the oven gonna break one open you can see the inside is just nice and light and full of that lovely seasoned chicken and that is my recipe for Jamaican chicken patties as always guys thank you so much for joining in if you're liking what you see you know what to do hit the subscribe button and the notification button so you can be the first to see my videos when they upload also if you do want to see any particular videos leave a comment below but also just like and share so that others can see what the deal is. Until the next time, peace and love.